Hey, yeah. Time to play some, I mean, to watch some Battle for Westnoth. Alright, this is a 1v1. Each of us control two characters, so it's interesting because instead of just being a 1v1, you, it's like, you have to manage two turns, and so you have to manage, like, okay, which order am I going to attack in? So there's a lot more emphasis on prediction and, uh, like, making the optimal play because you can't just attack once and say, oh, that worked out, I'll attack again, or attack once and say, that didn't work out, I'll just uh, go and defend. You have to, like, <clears throat> rely on the follow-up from the, uh, the next turn. Now, we each are playing directly after ourselves, so that's a little simpler. <clears throat> we, can, we can do combos this way, which is fun. Alright, so he's starting with double Naga. He's going to have good sea control. Waiting for night time before attacking. He has the high ground. I have some for I claim these forests. I'm going to bring him in the hills. Getting some free poke on these forks. <clears throat> wow, and my RNG is absolutely amazing. What is my RNG? Plus 68 inflicted this turn. And I finish him off. So he's down a unit. I had excellent RNG. And I'm just gonna hold my ground here against this troll. I want to be able to survive the night time. If I if I had attacked with hang on, if I had attacked with this skeleton, like even if he got hit once, he'd be low HP, they could just follow up. Cause look at his follow up. He has so much follow up. And those these things have these archers have uh, fire fork archers have fire arrows. He got a uh, nice RNG here. Oh no. <clears throat> that was all just a triple attack. So he had. Uh, oh no, that was him. That's him from his perspective. Okay, yeah. So, so he had. That was normal luck. And he's going for. I don't know why he's doing this. Why is he doing this? Um, he, he didn't take the village. He didn't. What? Okay, so he's attacking my leader. I don't know why. Must have some plan. And here's my counter-attack. Why, <clears throat> Why did I move him up? Oh, I was choosing which fighter to attack with. Look at that animation! Oh my god, he looks so cool! Yo, this is gonna be the video snapshot right here. He looks so cool! Look at that! <laughs> Look at that orc archer! He's just like jumping in the air like, oh yeah! It's like fire emblem attack. Mm. And then... And it only does... Oh, it does 5 damage. No, 2 damage. I don't know how much damage. But, um... Because of the night time. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't sure which archer to attack with. And I end up going... I end up choosing the lowest health archer. And I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, because I can attack with this... This guy's in range to attack here, and this guy's in range to attack. But his leader could counterattack, and then... See, if I engage him on this hill, even if I get, like, free poke with my archers... Um, his counterattack, like, I don't think I kill this unit. Okay, let's say I kill this unit. <clears throat> his counterattack's on the high ground. Dwarves are excellent on high ground. And his leader is probably going to hit. He's going to have a 60% chance to hit with his, with his massive one-shot thing. So, his one-shot cannon is scary. Dwarves on the high ground is scary. Like, look at, look, these are all dwarves. If I can just leave him on the low ground, that's good. If I can just waste this leader's presence, that's good. So I'm, I'm not going to engage these dwarves and get the free poke. Because it's not free. I'll get punished for it. <clears throat> so I just move over. This is vulnerable. He could, he could punish this, he could kill this archer, probably. Rallies. Oh yeah, he can, he can triple attack this archer. Um, he's probably going to, and, well, I know, I know what he's going to do, obviously, but, <clears throat> okay, this, punishing his Naga for going where it shouldn't be ever, um, getting the hits I need, oh, very nice, very nice, so how's my RNG right now, oh, wow, so right now my RNG is, <clears throat> 
Energy's dead normal? What? Dead, dead, dead normal? Ha <laughs> ha Okay, but um... I got the kills I needed, which is great. And he's upset because he overextended and got punished for it. And probably because I didn't overextend and didn't get punished for it. So these dwarves have wasted their time because he wanted to do a full all-in, but I didn't all-in him. I just <coughs> wave dash back and forward smashed. And it looks like I secured the kills, so I'm ahead quite a few kills. How do you check how many kills you're up? <coughs> I wanted to go this way, but he's not. he didn't get quick, so... I'll just uh, kill this dwarf. Now, who do I kill it with? It's a good question. But one of the... This guy actually has quick, so he could actually poke it to secure a kill with this guy. But he doesn't land enough. I, I wasn't sure how much damage this guy would do. It would be nice if I knew. I guess I could calculate it. I thought he would do 8 damage, right? But he only does 7. So we'll see if we hit... And then this griffin... I mean, he's right near my leader, so I'm just... My leader is in range to summon the next turn, so I'm just going to keep my leader there. And hopefully I can get a hit... I do, so I'm I'm extremely lucky. I mean, this is not extremely lucky, but it's like <clears throat> I'm getting the hits I need to. I mean, he really did overextend with his dwarves. What is what is this backdoor? He could have just attacked the archer. I don't understand why he did that. Um, maybe he was scared of my leader. But the leader attacks with the backdoors, so. <clears throat> He could have attacked the archer. Um, these dwarven uh, guys, I, I wouldn't have had the follow-up to counterattack, right? Because he kind of wasted this engage from red. If he, I don't know, he should have attacked the archer. The archer was horrible. Okay, now why is he attacking my leader? I have no clue. My leader needs to go recruit, so you don't need to be attacking it. <clears throat> okay, a shaman. They heal. They can deal with level two units. Mostly for the heal. Um, I don't think he'll be able to level up. Here I take a village. This is aggressive. I'm being very aggressive. And now I'm not sure who to attack. This was, this was a little bit of thought. Because I could guarantee a kill with this adept. Or I could try to get a level up. So I go for a level up. I get it. So I'm very lucky. <coughs> I mean, it's, not, it's average luck. But still, like, stuff can go wrong all the time. And then this... Okay, this adept here is where I think I get greedy. But I'm, like, really ahead. So even if he punishes me, like, it's going to be daytime. He has to keep fighting. So I'm just going for raw damage and hoping that he's never going to get a chance to uh, to actually catch up to my kills. Right? Because I want to keep pushing forward. Now, the thing is... This is greedy because I need to go back and recruit. So, he's going to punish me, of course. He gets great RNG. Or, actually, no, that's normal RNG. <coughs> His leader's way up here. His leader was so unlucky. So, at this point in the game, my RNG is actually, like, amazing. And Okay. He, he got the kill. He secured the kills. Okay, so... He's, he's, he's getting what he needed to get. He's going back to recruit. Now, actually, at this point... <clears throat> at this point, I need to recruit. But I kind of want to kill this griffin. And I don't want to give up this village. I could back off and heal. I could, like, back off, back off, back off. And then give up that mid-village. And then recruit. And heal all my troops. But I want to kill this Naga. And I have two level 2 units. So I'm going to go for the Naga. And I, I can definitely kill the Naga. <clears throat> so I get a little... Okay, I don't I don't get him. But this is a little... This is like hyper-aggressive. Because he can, he can kill that archer. I know that. But I'm, I'm putting the Mermaid memory here to prevent the Ulf Circle from killing the archer. So he's going to have to focus on that archer. And, uh, what I should have done is probably move the shaman down and then position around the shaman. After that archer attack failed. But I'm thinking, hey, there's like a quarter chance I kill this griffin. 
and he's gonna the griffin's gonna level up on this guy and he could level up on that guy I don't want to give him all this territory so so I just go for the griffin and I, I, I secure these two hills for myself because he can't he has to deal with the archer first so I'm gonna kill this naga <clears throat> I get a bit unlucky so I just go for the archer instead how was my luck that turn I didn't get this didn't see. but yeah I, I didn't I didn't actually kill the naga so that's too bad um, now it's daytime, so my undead not doing too much damage, but, okay, yeah, I went for the squishy level up, and now, oh, he gets a hit, he gets a big hit, so he's following that up, I don't know why he doesn't use the griffin, this is actually an amazing turn, look at this turn, look at this turn, you were not gonna expect this turn, okay, look at purple, this is, this, this is why you're here seeing the bit, this is why I decided to make a video, okay, <clears throat> he gets the hit on this guy, Kills it with the footman. He, he doesn't go for the griffin level up. Because he has bigger plans. He's behind like probably two and a half deaths maybe. I have a level. I have two level two units. So he's screwed. Look at his play. And I'm not saying you should do this because I don't think it's a good play. But look at how it works out. He, he knew he was behind and he had to take a risk. So he secures a kill. He tries to open up for the Ulf Circer, but it misses. It fails. So he goes, he kills his level 2, gets the level up, and now look at this play. Wait, what? This is not the play. Okay. This is, so how, now he's, he's playing really bad. Yeah, he's playing really bad right now. Wait, he should have leveled up with a Naga, right? Or gotten the Naga to heal. But like, he, he, he so he, at least the Naga can heal now. So he's, he's doing pretty bad. And now what does he decide to do? Oh, he suicides this unit. It hits three times. He suicides this unit. It hits four times. What the fuck? What the f- And he levels up. What the fuck? Like, couldn't he kill- He could've killed the other thing with the Naga, right? He could've killed this unit with the Naga, leveled up the Naga, and killed that unit with the Griffin, leveled up the Griffin, he would have two level two units. Instead, he kills it with the foot pad. Suicides this dwarf. Why didn't he suicide that dwarf instead? And now, he killed my leader. And he he basically hit 40% chance to hit, or 40% chance to miss, right? He hit my leader seven times in a row. Yeah. Four plus three. He hit my leader seven times in a row on a 60% chance to hit. What's the chance of that? I think that's unlikely. So I'm not recommending you do this because the chance is to the power of seven. <clears throat> the chance is, uh, let's multiply by a hundred to get the percent. The percent chance is 2.8%. Okay, so that's a bit higher than I thought it would be, but yeah, 2.8, no, no, that's reasonable. 2.8, yeah, right? I was thinking like, I knew it was like, below 4%, right? But like, probably above 0.5%. So that's... But like... <clears throat> I thought it was a bit lower than 2.8. Anyways, he gets the hit that he needed. I guess I'm... Yeah, that's reasonable, 2.8%. It's, it's what it is. So... Now this, I, I don't slow his level 2, so that's not good. I could have gone for the leader and just slowed the leader and yellowed the leader. But I was, wait. <clears throat> Look at, instead of going for the leader there, with the shaman I had uh, decided it's safest to go for this naga. And then I just hit the naga. But the naga never got slowed, so I so I changed tactics and, and just went for um, harassing. And then with the, with the level 2, and then... These guys, uh, like, once my harassment failed, I'm like, I, I gotta, I gotta just heal up and prevent this griffin from back capping. So I'm, I'm stalling him, and I'm assuming that he's gonna keep pushing me. Because this left side, I can... I, I, I want my units, like, high health. And he's, he's gonna recruit all this. Wait, what the... Wait, what? Wait, what? Hang on. What? What did you recruit? I know you can recruit like three units. Wait, what? 
He didn't recruit anything? Wait, what? Did you, did you see this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He didn't recruit anything! What the hell? What? What? Okay, what? <coughs> he didn't recruit anything. <coughs> Wait, where's his leader? Okay, so he has two leaders, yeah. He didn't recruit anything. <coughs> okay, so he wants to... <coughs> he wants to secure the kill on this archer, I guess. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll punish that dwarf. That's way out of position. I could have gone YOLO for this one over there. Um, but I'm assuming he stays in the middle. Um, see, if I go south, the archer gets a nice hit on my skeleton. And since he's going to level up, I'm just playing pretty safe. Playing pretty safe. Oh, no, no, that wasn't why. I, I was afraid of him going around and... What was I afraid of? I was afraid of him, like, what? Killing the ghoul and going around? No, I don't know. Why did I move that there? Why did I move that? Oh, yeah, because this guy's gonna heal, right? No. I think he's like, full HP. He's going for the long game now. Wait, but he suicides the elf? Okay, I guess he's not going for the long game. Oh, that elf's gonna lose. Um, why? Like, look at... He has 40% defense, I have 60% defense. He should have waited for night. Healed first, then wait for night. I don't know why... Why he did that, but... But why did I move this here? I could have gone south. Oh yeah, I, he's a bit damaged. How many damage is he? He only heals 2 health. I don't think that 2 health is worth... Maybe that was a mistake? But he is going to commit to this archer. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I need to counterattack. Okay, this... Because I know he's going to control mid. Okay. I know he's going to be mid. I don't know where the, this is going to be. So he's gonna, he suicides that elf. He's getting amazing RNG on this leader. So he's caught up on RNG now. And, um... When he, when he killed my leader, I was like... I thought it was an equal game. Like... Because <clears throat> I didn't know if he would win. Because I had two level 2 units, right? He kills my leader. I still have a level 2 unit, but he had two level 2 units, but I had like a nice lead. Problem is, I never spent like 46 gold on green. So, like, I thought it was an equal- this, make, this made things interesting, because cause now it was like, he had the chance to win, so, and I think he had a, like, 50-50 chance to win. Um, but like, depending how he played it, I think- I think he should have been able to at least, like, make it an equal game and kill off all my stuff to the east. Um, <clears throat> but he's 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 back capping me, going for a long game. So, um, let's see what I can pull out of my sleeve. And he's not even going to heal, whoa. He's just going for all the villages now. He's, but he's not recruiting him. He must have like 50 gold or something. Alright, this uh, this Naga's gonna do work now. I don't know why he's... Uh, why are you... This leader's gonna die. Oh no, I missed all my shots so I can't go in with the Bane Blade to finish him off. I can't go with it. Because I had so much follow-up. I had the Bane Blade, I had this thing, I had... Yeah, so three units can attack him, but, but the, I missed all my four shots from the big DPS, so... I'm gonna have to revise my strat. I could have gone for the griffin, but I was scared of sitting in this crappy water beside a griffin. So instead, I just harassed the dwarf. Um, and for some reason, he tries to punish my leader. I don't. He's he's clearly going for the long game here, right? He's going for the long game. But now he um he's taken huge damage because it's nighttime, and he actually loses his leader. So now he can't go for the long game anymore. I get a level up off that. See, see, I went, I went for the level up, and and now he's now he's like panicking. He's panicking and trying to kill the leader. Um. 
So, yeah, he, he was hoping for a nice RNG and didn't get it. Now he has to go back and recruit and maybe win all these trades. He has to... But why is this here? Oh, he's not going for my mermaid. Okay, I get a level up. <clears throat> he's not going to reach my leader. This, I wasn't sure what to do with this mermaid. I had no clue. He wasn't in range to attack that one. He could have taken a village, but he was full health, so... I'm just applying lots of pressure to mid. And, um, yeah, he never goes to recruit with the guy. So he had, like, how much gold did he see? How much gold did he have? I wish I knew how much gold he had. Point of view. Uh, what? Let's see. I can't see how much gold he had. I would have liked to know, because he didn't recruit for, like, the longest time. He didn't just... Me neither? Like, I could have recruited, like, four units, but he could have recruited at least six. Anyways, um... Yeah, he, he struck that 3% RNG on my leader. He was losing the whole game. He had bad RNG. I, I kind of sidestepped this dwarven push to the west. And, um... Punished him for for going and cap, back capping there. Punished him for suiciding the Naga. <clears throat> Punished him for um, capping this with a dwarf. 20% defense. So um, he got punished a lot, but he got the 3% chance to kill my leader. He took it, and then he just... He never went back to recruit, so I won.